بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتور ال سيوف تشايلد نيورولوجيست امريكان بور توداي وي ار غانا دو ذا لاست ايبيسود ان بيدياتريك ابليبسي سيريز اند اي ليكتد تو توك اباوت ذيس توبيك ايفن ذو ات از مور دايركتد تو ذا نيورولوجيست اور ذا بيدياتريشن بت اي وود اي وود لاف تو تاتش يو نو ا ليتل بيت اباوت ذيس توبيك سو ذا فاميلي ات ليست نو وات از وات از Uh, what is about what is uh, uh, might be wrong uh, uh, if their kid or their son is not responding to the medication <coughs> uh, what is the uh, uh, main reason i see in the clinical practice for patient is not responding or is not rec- will control the medication remember 75 if the patient we can control them in with medication 25 percent uh, we can we cannot control them with the medication and this is st- statistically and this is a known fact in the neurology field uh, after the third uh, medication that is appropriately chosen and also appropriately uh, dosed to the patient you know there is a five percent per month, per year, per new medication, a chance of uh, treating the, uh, the seizure. So, in my practice, a lot of the family come to me and why is my son not well control the medication? What are the common causes? I see as a pediatric neurologist or child neurologist uh, uh, for a patient who comes to me <coughs> not well controlled. Uh, first, when the patient comes to me who is not well controlled in seizure, first we need to re- revisit the diagnosis. Does the patient have epilepsy? A lot of the time, and a huge number of time, patient come to me, he has a headache, he got an EEG done to him, which has no relation to headache, uh, read appropriately or inappropriately that he has a focal discharge and he is and he get started on medication of course this patient will never improve because he does not have epilepsy or seizure to be treated with seizure medication i just had a patient like you know uh, last week from egypt where we did an online consultation so the first we need to revisit the diagnosis second if the diagnosis is seizure we need to make sure that the medication that are being given is are matched to the the the, the diagnosis of the epilepsy uh, three years a weeks ago i have a kids with focal epilepsy binaurolandic epilepsy and she has been almost uh, one year on lamictal lamitrogen and uh, with uh, uh, great side effect and uh, she was still not controlled Of course, because uh, Lamictal is not my fourth choice in, in uh, focal epilepsy, especially benign Rolandic epilepsy. So this patient, we explained to her what might be the, 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 the cause for, for her not being controlled. Plus, she was having a lot of side effects, so we switched her to our first dose, oxacarbazepine, then levetiracetam, uh, then uh, 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 Vimba. So first, we make, the, we make sure that it's in a seizure. Common, wrong diagnosis is common. Second, we make sure that the medication are used are matched to the seizure type, okay? Focal epilepsy, I should not start with the broad spectrum uh, seizure medication like Dibakine, Lamotrigine, Tubamax, Zonogram, Ficomba, and so on, so on, leave, you know, Oxacarbazepine and Levateracetam and uh, Verapimil to the, to the last. Third, make sure the dose was appropriate. I always, you know, emphasize this point that we start low and go slow. And we keep going, going until we reach one of three things. Either we reach the maximum dose or the patient does not tolerate the medication anymore or we control the seizure. Very common. I see patient is in three types of seizure medication, uh, even though uh, they are appropriately chosen, but he never, never dose to the maximum. And so you will find, you know, this medication is 50% of its maximum dose. The other medication is 40%. The other medication is in 30%. This is what we call spices styles. And this is one of the most commonest cause for seizure uh, not being <coughs> treated uh, or controlled properly now if we have gone through all these steps and uh, we uh, uh, see that the patient uh, is still uh, he has the he has epilepsy uh, the medication appropriate to the to the uh, Uh, the, the to the to the uh, epilepsy type and they are dosed uh, properly then most likely if we w- if we are uh, if we pass th- the third 
a medication most likely this it could be a refractory epilepsy and need to be treated in a different uh, way as I said in our you know uh, area in the Middle East uh, we don't have uh, really uh, uh, perfect setup for epilepsy surgery so we keep trying uh, me other medication and dosing them we use some time you know certain uh, combination to help to uh, offset the, the, the this side uh, to offset you know the uncontrolled seizure and last reason of the lifestyle if the patient is on two or three medication but they only sleep for five hours they have erratic sleep pattern they spend a lot of time on the tv ipad iphone samsung galaxy whatever screen time and they uh, they they are in in inappropriately being uh, managed uh, environment wise for their uh, seizure that's also another reason for the uh, seizure not to be controlled so we touch all about all these things and the fee or if we optimize all these things and the patient still seizing, then we are headed most likely to a refractory epilepsy. But there is so many steps we have to do before we call them refractory epilepsy. Thank you very much and have a good night. And I think by this uh, episode, we uh, concluded the epilepsy series. If you guys uh, need any topics specifically be to, to be to be uh, discussed over uh, uh, in epi pediatric epilepsy, please just you know uh, reach us through our YouTube channel, and we'll be more than happy to touch about this one. Thank you very much, and have a good night.